Blessed be the name of the Lord. I greet you this morning in Jesus' name and pray that God will continue to bless us as we share his word together. I welcome you to share with us this, in this Sunday service. Like our page, Gospel of the Church, Narumoru. Our YouTube channel is DDR TV Network. You're very much welcome. I want to share with you in a few minutes the word of God, the word that the Lord has put in my heart from the book of genesis chapter 18 uh 
chapter 18 in the book of genesis chapter 18 i want to read um, from verses from verses one and the lord appeared unto him in the plains of mamre and he sat in the tent in the heat of the day it's good to know that the lord appeared unto him and he lifted up his eyes and looked and lord three men stood by him and when he saw them he ran to meet them from the tent door and bowed himself towards the ground and said my lord if now i have found favor in thy sight pass not away i pray thee from thy servant let a little water i pray you be fetched and wash your feet and rest yourself under the tree and i'll fetch a morsel of bread and comfort your hearts after that you shall pass on for therefore are you come to your servant and they said so do so do as I was said. And Abraham hasted into the tent unto Sarah and said, Make ready quickly three measures of fine meal needed and make cakes upon the earth. And Abraham ran unto the heart and fetched a calf tender and good and gave it unto the young man and he hasted to dress it. And he took the butter and milk and the calf which he had dressed and set it before them, and he stood by them under the tree, and they did eat. And they said unto him, Where is Salah thy wife? And he said, Behold in the tent. And he said, I will suddenly return unto thee according to the time of life, and Lord Salah thy wife shall have a son. And Salah heard it in the tent door which was behind him. Now Abraham and Salah were old and well stricken in age. And then ceased to be with Salah after the manner of women. Therefore Salah laughed within herself and said, If I am wax old, shall I have pressure, my Lord, being old also? And the Lord said unto Abraham, Wherefore did Salah laugh, saying, Shall I of surely bear a child which I will hold? And is there anything too hard for the Lord? And the, at the appointed time I will return unto thee, according to the time of life, and Sarah shall have a son. Then Sarah denied, I laughed not, for she was afraid. And he said, Nay, but thou didn't uh, laugh. I want to, I've read a big portion, but I don't intend to speak so much on that. But I want to go to Genesis 21 and read verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time which God had spoken to him. Now, that is very clear. I want to talk about the beauty of knowing the time of your visitation. The beauty of knowing the time of your visitation. Abraham is visited by the Lord, as we read. The Lord visited, appeared to Abraham. But immediately you read verse, verse, verse 1 and go to verse verse. Verse 2, the Bible says, uh, he saw three men. The Lord visited Abraham. And the Bible says, when he lifted up his eyes, he saw three men coming to him. And the Bible says, they came to him and uh, they, they seemed like they want to pass by. And the Bible says, he told them, don't pass by just like that. Let me get some water. We wash your feet. Then we do some meal, you eat and refresh yourself. They said, do. So do as thou was said. The beauty of knowing the time of our visitation. God was visiting Abraham in a form of three men. And Abraham knew somehow this is God coming to visit me. And the Bible says, he, they prepared a meal. He fetched a calf and it was slaughtered and made for them they ate and drunk in abraham's compound and the bible says when they had finished eating they said where is is salah your wife and he said she's in the tent and they said now it comes back to uh, to god the bible says i will 
there are three, but he says, I will suddenly return according to the time of life. And Sarah, thy wife, shall have a son. And uh, you remember Sarah had it and laughed because she could not imagine. She was already advanced in years. But I read also Genesis 21 because the word of God is true and word of acceptation. When God speaks a word, he must accomplish what he has said. He said, and the Bible says, and the Lord visited Sarah as he had spoken. And she conceived and bare a son for Abraham in old age at the same time which God had spoken to him. Now that's important. The beauty of knowing the time of our visitation. Now, there's a great danger, a tragedy, if you don't know when God visits your life. God had visited Abraham, and Abraham was able to know that this is God. And when he knew it was God, he received God in a good way and received a blessing of a child. I want to state two purposes as to why God visited Abraham. The Bible says he visited him to fulfill his promise that he had given unto him that out of your loins shall I bless you. A son will come from your loins. And he had come to fulfill that word. The Bible says in Genesis 15 verses 4 if you read number 3 it says and Abraham said behold to me thou hast given no seed and lo one born in my house is mine hair and behold the word of the Lord came unto him saying this shall not be thine hair but he shall come forth he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine hair so God is coming now to Abraham, visiting him as three men, and he tells him, you shall have a son. And God had son, as God had said. Now, that's number one, to fulfill his promise to Abraham. That's the beauty of knowing the visitation of God. The other reason why God visited him is found in Genesis 18, where we're reading, and the Bible says, uh, in verse 16 and the men rose up from thence and looked towards Sodom and Abraham went with them to bring them on the way he's escorting them now out of his compound and the Lord says shall I hide from Abraham that which, thing which I do seeing that Abraham shall become a great mighty nation and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him for I know him that he will command his children and his household after him and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment and the Lord that the Lord may bring upon Abraham that you have spoken of him and so number two is coming to inform Abraham because he respected Abraham he says Abraham shall surely become a great nation and all the nations of the world shall be uh, named or shall be blessed through him so he's coming to to to, to Abraham to tell him of his intention. That's very beautiful. When God comes to speak to us, to tell us what he's thinking of doing. And so he told him, I'm going to Sodom and Gomorrah because they are so sinful. I want to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham, you remember, he pleaded with him to save Sodom and Gomorrah. I want to finish. I want to say this. Anytime God visits us, there are things that he wants to do. There is a desire in his heart for things that he wants to accomplish. When we miss on his timing and the time of his visitation, we miss the purpose of that season. It is my prayer that none of us will miss the time of the visitation of God. Jesus looked at the temple and when Peter talked about the beauty of the temple, he, he looked at it and said, I, I pity you because you don't understand the time of your visitation. May God help us to understand the time of God's visitation. That's why I'm sharing about the beauty of knowing the time of our visitation. Let me pray. Father, God, I thank and I bless you for reminding us today again to desire to know, to be awake and sensitive to the spirit so that we can know. Like our father Abraham, when you visit us, so that we can receive of our blessing. And be established according to your will and purpose. 
In Jesus' name we pray and trust. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Bye-bye.